Hello software back in this time we have a nice laptop to repair MacBook Pro it is MacBook Pro nice laptop can be if we can fix it quickly and uh, earn an easy pizza the problem with this one is that let me plug a charger we need a special adapter for this one yeah this one is kind of oldish but still you know a decent laptop so we have the USB-C adapter, plug in the charger, we have the charging light, actually the laptop is charging, check there, 300, 400, the current is going up. So what's the problem with this laptop? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Let's see if the... If the laptop is responding to the power button, maybe we have a faulty keyboard. So holding the power button down, waiting for the meter reset, and it's not happening. No, now you can see I'm uh, I'm holding the power button down and nothing. So what do you think is the problem? Hmm? The keyboard. Yeah, that's what I will say, but let's uh, open and check together. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, the job is coming from a local repair shop, not turning on. So the laptop is open. You know what I want to do? I want to disconnect the battery. That's what I want. If we are disconnecting the battery, the laptop, it will come on by itself. And the battery is disconnected. Let's plug the charger. And the laptop, it is coming on. Yeah, I can see the fan spinning. And we have picture. Yeah. So what is the conclusion? Hmm? Keyboard is faulty. I mean, no one touched the keyboard before. Wait, I seen something green there. What is that? exactly on the keyboard connector hmm? who said easy pizza yeah check there so this is liquid damage and the keyboard connector is looking fine but this capacitor nah it's not looking fine so let's quickly clean that capacitor hmm? alcohol Uh, you know what? I can't clean it. No. Say hello to my little friend. Hmm? Yeah, it looks like. Okay, so the capacitor is out. Of course, we're going to replace the capacitor on the next video. But for me, it's looking good now. Yeah. Perfect. Now, let me plug the battery. Battery is plugged in. Let's plug the charger. So basically the laptop is on. If I'm pressing the power button, nothing happened. Wait a second. Let's hold the power button down. And no, I can't switch it off. Okay, so the laptop is off. Pressing the power button. Nothing happened. It's not working. That's crazy. Do you think actually is more liquid damage there? I think it's time to check what's going on there with the multimeter. So what this capacitor was doing? Nothing. He was just sitting there like a duck. So let's see what we have there. Voltages. So here we have zero volts. Here we have nothing. Yeah, that's fine. Here we have nothing. Here we have nothing. We have a fuse here. Here we have like 11 volts. 11 volts. On the keyboard connector, we have like a 3.4 on this pin. Not sure which one is the power button. But anyway, let's take the keyboard out just to be sure we don't have liquid damage there. And it's no liquid damage. It's looking good. Okay, let's grab a, sch a schematic, yeah? Or board view, even better, board view. Uh, schematics, A. 
one four two five let's see and yeah someone asked about uh, this model and we have board view and schematic so i will download the board view let's open the polynial program the board view and let's see what is there okay board view file good so what is the problem here so this is the keyboard connector so we had this capacitor which is 1v5 memory okay we don't care about that what is this memory okay so which is the power on pin keyboard on off button this one pin number five yeah can be and it's going where it's going to our uh, smc chip yeah okay let's check that pin pin number five i said yeah pin number five one two three four five this one has 3.4 but when i'm pressing the power button it should go to zero okay the problem is i can't see anything and i have to hold the laptop open in order for the laptop to power on pressing the power button is doing nothing so basically, if I'm shorting that pin to ground, the laptop should come on. Yeah, and the laptop is on. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely the, the keyboard power button is not working. And the liquid damage from the board actually has no connection with the fault. So what we can do with the power button? Hmm? Wait one second, I didn't check the other keys if they are working. Let me power on again the laptop. Yeah, and the laptop is on. What is the solution? What you will do in this case? Check here, the keyboard is working fine. I mean, yeah. Yeah, every key is working fine. But not the power button. Replacing the keyboard. Ah. Replacing the keyboard. That's long. That's long, expensive. Hmm? You remember we had a job exactly the same, but exactly the same, but not MacBook. It was a, a gaming laptop, if I remember. And the solution I found is actually strapping the, the power button track to the lead sensor. Mm -hmm. I found it, I found it. So it's this one, Acer 5. Acer Nitro 5, sorry, using the lead sensor as the power button. Rerouting the power button. So I don't remember what I did. So how we can do it? You well, have even any this idea guy is confused. How you will do it? I know, don't tell me you'll order the keyboard. No, no, I don't believe that. Even this guy is confused. <laughs> so somehow... Wait. No, we can't use that, yeah? Perfect. So a wire to the pin number one. Actually, the power, uh, the power is the, on the pin number one. Keep in mind if you have this, uh, this laptop. Now it's time for testing, yeah? So let's say now the laptop is open. The lead is open. We don't. We have no. We have three point three. So when it's close, it's zero. So when you open the laptop, it's one. It's exactly like that. Nothing happened. Opening the lead, and the laptop is coming on. You can see. Yeah, this guy is smart. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it here. Let's do it here. lead sensor smc lead i believe this is the what we're looking for right smc lead test pad okay so it's going to the smc then it's going to some capacitors so this is a resistor this is a capacitor 
and from the resistor is going where to the actual LED sensor, which is here. Where is the power button? Here I know from where to get a signal. And on the keyboard connector I said is pin number five, this one, which we have a test point there. Yeah, so this one should go here. Yeah, that's the one. So let's use a wire. Yeah, we need a proper calibrated wire. So it will be like that. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I know the, the battery is connected. I know that. That should be okay. We need a little bit of rosin. Solder wire. From here. To here. Yeah. And the wire is soldered. Let's test it. Let's see if it's working. Then we can clean up the mess. Opening the lid. And nothing happened. It's coming on. Check there. Working. Okay. Let's see if it's working. Happened the same with the nitro. I have once to open and close. Okay, so the laptop is on. Um, assuming the customer shut down the uh, shutting down the laptop. Okay, so the laptop is off. Closing the lid. Working fine. Just a little bit of hot glue. And here. And here, perfect. Give me one second to put it all back together. Opening the lid. Coming on, it's working. Huh? What do you think? Dodgy? No, nah, it's not dodgy. No, no, no. It's not the same as original. I got that, yeah? It's just a compromise, you know, the customer is paying less money, I spend less time and less money, because if I have to buy the keyboard and replace the keyboard, not sure if the customer will want to pay the money for this, uh, you know, this is like 13 years, 14 years old laptop. Now, you have to think to the other people, because not many, they have access to eBay to buy stuff, or uh, even myself, the last time I went to Romania, like eight years ago, I just access the eBay from my phone and I got banned. Just to understand, there are countries they cannot access eBay. I'm not sure if if Romania they have no access to eBay, but probably they have. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, pro pro probably now it's a law. Yeah, but there are a lot of countries they don't have access to eBay and they don't. Even if they have access to eBay, you know, buying a keyboard for like fifty pounds, they replacing the keyboard. Mm. I mean, even if you tell me, yes, sorry, but the keyboard is cheap. Yeah, but, it, you know, I want to make some money. You know, I'm not doing this for, like, fun. So uh, the customer is paying less. The customer is happy. You are happy. Everyone is happy. I'm not here to give bad examples how not to fix a laptop, yeah? I'm here to give you alternative way to fix a fault. Because the proper way, you can find a bunch of videos how to do it on a proper way. I'm just, you know, trying to give you a backup solution. Okay? Perfect. So I'm going to stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. And have in mind you can fool, like, probably any laptop using the lead sensor uh, to fix the power button. Bye. Hey.
If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.